Hey everybody, this is Paul, and I'm excited to share with you my first attempt at using something I got for my birthday, this digital uh, refractometer, or some people call it a digital refractometer. I kind of hate to say I call it both. But this model is MA871, and it's made to measure the sucrose content in fruits and vegetables and grapes and things like that. And from what I read, this is going to be great to test dragon fruit, the brick square of my dragon fruit. So I was using an analog gauge before, but now I have this. So I'm really excited. I literally put the batteries in it last night. It came with a 9-volt battery, and I read the instructions how to use it. And it also came with two pipettes. So here's the owner's manual. It's pretty self-explanatory and was easy to read in my opinion. And this is very, very simple to use. So first we should probably get a dragon fruit. So here's a, some of those yellow Polaris floating around the stores here. And let's go ahead and try it out. So another beautiful fruit. See those large seeds and I'll taste that in a minute. But I picked the largest one of the three that I purchased the other day. So to test this out, what you wanna do is that it's simple, quick, and easy. And so your first step is that you're gonna to wanna to turn it on, and then we're gonna to wanna to test it at zero. So we're gonna calibrate it. So in addition, it came with this steamed distilled water that you wanna to use to calibrate, calibrate it. So go ahead and take a little bit, I took way too much, and then go ahead and place it on the testing spot. So I had placed the distilled water on there and I hit, go ahead and hit zero to calibrate it. It's at zero. And then you're gonna to wanna to use a soft, like a paper towel to kind of wipe it clean. Okay, something like that. Now you're gonna take the center of the dragon fruit because that's where it's sweetest. And take out a piece eat it oops and go ahead and extract some of the juice and place it on this tester okay then you go ahead and hit read so you can see that this yellow plora bricks is at a 23.0 zero tenths so that's a very sweet fruit it tastes of honey let me describe it for you Might as well since I'm here really do enjoy these fruit. Kind of reminds me of kind of like sweet honey, very sugary honey water. And then I get some earthiness from these large seeds, which I find pleasant, but some people do not. So that's how you do it. That's how you measure using this Bricks refractom refractom blah, refractometer. That's what I usually call it. So I'll go ahead and try it one more time and I'll show you, let's see what we can get on the outside oops, of this fruit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing. For some reason it's like sealed. There we go. All right, so watch. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Use this clean one to recalibrate it. Zero. Man, this sure is simple to use. Go ahead and clean it. All right. And then... You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and watch. Let's see what it bricks us out on the outside of this dragon fruit. It's usually lower. Okay. Read. 17.8. So there you go. There's the difference between the center is always the sweetest and the outer skin is always the least sweet. So there you go. This thing, I highly recommend it. It's rather expensive on Amazon, but uh, to me, it's well worth it. Uh, easy to clean, easy to use. It can convert temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. I forgot to mention that. And it turns off in three minutes if you leave it on. So wow, I like this device. And I hope you learned something new. You can see the difference between the center and the outer of a dragon fruit. Uh, the sugar content, I should say. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you wanna try out one of these soon. Pretty cool, nifty device, and easy to clean. All right, take care.